How's it going, y'all? It is your boy Nightmare Zenica. I'm back at you again with some more season three breakdowns for Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, we're gonna be talking about another menace of society, a uh, Kid Buu. This character, ridiculous, and has been since the beginning of the game. In my heart, top five throughout as far as the game, despite the fact of the numerous amounts of nerfs that they've given this character. This character probably is the most nerfed character in this game and still has managed to be top five. So that says a lot with the potential of this character. He is no joke. Uh, one of my more favorite villains within a, the Dragon Ball series. Um, been giving some more time to him for sure, especially during the later parts of season two. Um, so let's see as far as what they want about changing with this character. I expect it to be some nerves for sure, but who knows? We'll see. All right, stand a heavy attack, extending the moves, hit box upward, extending the hurt box upward though too. So pretty much this is gonna have a better time of hitting people in the air, but also gonna be easier for people to clip you, you know, from like above, you know, whenever like you do this move. So, I would say this one is a little, uh, it's a little bad. This move actually does take a little bit of time to recover from, so being able to have a better time of hitting him out of it is a detriment to him, but it does have a better time of hitting other people out of the air with it too, so I mean, it's a blessing and a curse. If you're using combos, I mean, it's going to be fine. If you're just throwing it out there, which normally people won't, you know, you know, it, it will be potentially an issue, but used within the right way, this is a buff. So we're not gonna worry about a second portion. All right, stand a special attack, increase the moves damage, extend the moves hitbox upward, adjust where the attack starts. So as far as with this now, uh, 5S does more damage, which is interesting. Um, has a better hitbox upward. Uh, this is kind of in line with something that he did with some of the other Kai Blasts. This supports some consistency. And that's where the attack starts. Um, I mean, this is all good. I don't know how that they went about adjusting the position of the Kai Blast. But all of these things are good changes for sure. I'm changing the damage on the Kai Blast too is really surprising as well. Anyways, see the next thing that we have. Uh, jump medium attack. Increase how much the opponent floats when the first part of the attack is canceled into a normal attack with a Z combo. All right. So pretty much, um, do oh, okay let's see let's I'm glad we have a little bit of a typo here on one portion I'm seeing it as to where that they changed like how much the kid boo floats when he does it well and the other one is speaking on as far as the opponents Whenever that they're like hitting them with it. I don't see too big, too significant of a change here. Cause I mean, you're still, you're still gonna use this normal within the same context that you would beforehand. I'm just not seeing the change this year, to be honest. But apparently, if you are crouching now, uh, whenever that this happens, that is going to make this situation like whiff easier. So I'm going to go with uh, this other section of it making it like so that Kid Blue's float, float is increased. But the thing about it is that that kind of doesn't matter because you can just do this instead. Like you can acknowledge the fact that you got the hit there too. So 
either way uh, this really isn't that big of a change while you can't just use light in that situation again you can just use heavy as an alternative there all right candy beam change hit effect during camera shift for this now you do something like that get a knockdown standard stuff mystic ball heavy slowed the attack startup it does have a little bit of uh, lag time to it, but it's still a fast attack. It comes out in 17 frames. Um, 14 in that situation, so I mean, ooh, excuse me, 13 in that situation. So, I, <laughs> I don't know. Like, them slowing the startup is not the biggest detriment in this situation, because it still is an overall fast attack. Alright, Mystic Arm Swing. Medium heavy change the hit effect during the camera shift. So let's make him jump real quick. So now you can do that with the medium and heavy version. But you can still just get like a regular combo off of it. So if you just want to get like a traditional knockdown, you can just do vanish. And do a normal air series and spike them down. Do have at least the option. Maybe you caught somebody off guard. Bam. <clears throat> there you go. I mean, you can use this like you would with the other camera shift situations. Right? And they buffed his first assist. They gave it more damage. So now if you get hit by the gumball, you are taking some more damage from that move. Interesting change, um, and they also did that for the default version of the Gumball 2, or the Arm Ball, as they call it in game. So if you get hit by this move, it's doing more damage now. To be fair though, you shouldn't be getting hit by this. This is a rather slow move. Fastest possible time it can hit you with 36. It's rather slow. Pretty reactable for sure. Uh, so yeah, if you get hit by this, you're paying for it more. But that's that's interesting of a change that they've made. All right, for Kid Boo's assist B, cast the Mystic Ball. It doesn't seem that amazing at first, but. If it hits somebody, um, it does go about uh, putting them in the air for a little bit. It doesn't have the... I mean, it, it's usable for sure. It has a better hit effect when you go about like catching them in the air, in my opinion. At least visually it looks that way. But it can be a little difficult to convert off of. This is fa faster of an assist that you can use. For pressure scenarios, it will work. The pushback for it is kind of severe. So, if you, if you want to give it a try, by all means, check it out. Not my jazz, but something quicker of an alternative to a sustain. And then we have his C assist being a Kamehameha. In line with the other beam assist of being 34 frames. So if you want to have like a pretty much a traditional beam with Kid Buu, you can do it. Of course, shoots at the beam, comes through with the down, with heavy in the air, to spike him down. Really easy for conversions like every other C type assist. This one, especially due to this beam with multiple hits, this is the easiest of easy conversions that you can go about getting, period. Okay? There's no way that you can mess this up. It's just going to happen. It's going to work, okay? So if you want as far as something that is very reliable, uh, that does have, have some screen coverage to it to help with the team, this is an assist to go to. I've been uh, pretty much using this one exclusively of playing with like Kid Buu as of late. I would say, though, that I mean, A assist is still A assist is one of... In my opinion, the best assist in the game. If you ever force somebody to block, they got to take a mix up. 
and that's pretty scary. So yeah, uh, give the assist a try. Um, I'm more leaning towards C-type though, even if it does have the, the more cooldown. I'd rather have a useful assist that I can go about using versus me having a questionable assist that I may not be able to utilize that well. In regards to Kid Budo, uh, there really hasn't been too much that they like nerfed when it came to this character. Besides a few situations, he can still play his same game plan. And they also did buff him in some ways. Uh, the arm ball being buffed um, and having like his Kai Blast do a little bit more damage. Stan Heavy having a bigger upward hitbox to it. Just subtle stuff, but they do help for sure. So, I mean, if you've already been playing Kid Buu, you're probably still going to keep playing him because they really didn't nerf this, this character, surprisingly. Still going to be a menace to society in my eyes, for sure. We'll be playing more of this character in the near future. With that being said, how y'all feeling about Kid Buu? You feel like that this character is, you know, still like top five, still super strong of a character. You feel like that this character should have been nerfed some more. Y'all talk to me, let y'all know how you're feeling. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all on the YouTube lingo. Do you take that share button? Until next time, it's been your boy Nightmare Zen. Until next time, y'all take care.